You know, looking at and listening to answers to questions regarding atomic structure from the New York State Chem Regions exams from 2015. Just like the matter unit, a lot of facts and definitions here you need to know and apply them to answer the questions, so please keep that in mind as we go through. There's a lot of um, questions here on the atom. In fact, I put 19 questions total in this category, so we're going to do these in several different videos. Do one batch of questions at a time, go back over questions, make sure you understand how to answer the questions as well as don't forget those facts and definitions. Okay, let's take a look. Question one, we're comparing an electron to which uh, particle that has a charge that is equal in, op in magnitude but opposite in sign. That, of course, is the proton. So protons, neutrons, and electrons, you need to know charges, you need to know masses, you need to know where they're located. Question two, mass of a proton is approximately equal to, that is one AMU, and that is choice one. Just like I just mentioned, the mass of a proton is one AMU, mass of a neutron, essentially the same as the mass of a proton, one AMU, electron is essentially zero. Move on to question three. All atoms of uranium have to have the same, and that is number of protons, which is the atomic number. All of these pieces of information you have to know in order to answer these questions correctly. Let's move on to choice four. How many different elements are represented by the diagram? Well, just like when you answered question three, it's based on protons. So these would be isotopes of one another, same number of protons, different number of neutrons, and here we have isotopes of one another. The key is how many different elements to answer the question, and that would be two different elements. Remember, how many elements you have is based on the number of protons only. We'll move on to question five. Specific amount of energy is emitted when excited electrons in an atom in a sample of an element return to the ground state. Okay, so as the electrons return to the ground state, energy is given off. That's what it means by emitted. And this energy can determine the identity of the element. So it is choice three. Question six, according to the wave mechanical model, that's the most recent model that we have for the atom. An orbital is defined as, so here's a definition. You need to know the word orbital. And that's the region of space where we're likely to find an electron. So that is choice three. Question seven, all phosphorus atoms, again, have the same atomic number. So you notice that atomic number, number of protons, is showing up quite a bit. Let's go to question eight. Valence electrons in, of an atom in which, oh, I'm sorry, the valence electron of which atom in the ground state has the greatest amount of energy. Well, the valence electrons for lithium, cesium, rubidium, sodium, so lithium, rubidium, cesium, cesium and sodium, it's going to end up being cesium. They all have one valence electron, but cesium is going to be furthest away from the nucleus. And the further away an electron is from a nucleus, the more energy it has. So that would make it cesium, which is choice one. Let's move on to number nine. Numbers of protons and neutrons in each of the four different atoms are shown below. Which two atoms represent isotopes of the same element? Okay, in order to be an isotope, you got the same protons, but different neutrons. So, number of protons have to be the same, neutrons different, so it looks like D and E to me, and I don't know why they wrote it as E and D, but maybe to throw off somebody, but it is choice three. We're going to stop here, check out the next video for the next couple of questions.